What's up guys, back to another kind of super video, and in today's video we are going to talk about the Forbidden Characters. Quick recap for those of you who do not know what Forbidden Characters are, they are a new type of character, pretty much the same thing as the legendary characters that we've been getting on the global version. But they just have a different look, and they have a cool new mechanic called Forbidden Ults. These are new ults that only the Forbidden Characters can use, this is Aqua's. Pretty much it has a, I believe both of them have the rainbow buff where you do more damage. I'm not too sure on the statistics on that personally, but it also changes the background. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is Forbidden Aqua. I did pull her on my GP account and I am currently grinding quartz for the Forbidden Wiz. I probably want to have some video just because I'll probably only have like three or four multis and it'll just be me summoning for her until I get her on the JP side. But this Aqua is light. Yes, that is Haze, but she has some pretty good skills and can hit pretty hard from what I've seen an actual like built Aqua can do. I don't have her built because this is, I don't really play my JP too much, but Wiz is also pretty cool. Let me show her real quick. Boom, Wiz. All right, so the main reason I wanted to talk about this video is because on the global version, our next legendary character is tied to Christmas. Ironically, it is Chris herself. Now, not all legendary characters are tied to a celebration, such as Aqua and Darkness are the first year anniversary, right? Cosma is just kind of thrown in as he was 1.25. I forgot what they called it on global, but the veneer with Megami is called the 500 day celebration instead of the 1.5 um anniversary celebration so those ones are tied to like their own little thing chris is the first one that is tied to a seasonal event this aqua came out during halloween and this is not halloween aqua this is forbidden aqua she's her own thing the new whiz boom oh boom uh new whiz is going to be coming out with the new year's yun yun from what i've seen so if you want to know when we're going to get these characters, it is going to be whenever we get not this. Unfortunately, the Halloween coming up is not going to be the one with Aqua. It'll be the year after. And then whenever we get New Year's, after the next New Year's, which funny enough, New Year's will be Wiz twice in a row because we have New Year's Wiz and then this Forbidden Wiz is when we should get them. So unfortunately, whenever we get those banners, pretty much just go one year into the future kind of sucks i know a lot of global players are really hyped about the forbidden characters from what i've seen especially aqua got a lot of views real quick so people obviously care about these new rarity they are extremely cool wiz probably is my favorite character in the game now because i don't like dragons her old sick she's pretty good and then you know the outfit for many reasons it, it has two of my favorite colors purple and red in it but enough about wiz i already gushed about her in a different video they're pretty cool units so it does suck that we have to wait a year, but it looks like we potentially might be getting a forbidden character every seasonal. It really depends on if stuff like Valentine's Day or it's another celebration summer, I guess, if we get them during those celebrations. But if not, we'll have to see if a forbidden character is put on a random banner like the legendary characters. We still have a couple legendary characters. I believe Mitsurugi, Melissa, Amy, Mia, Veneer, Mel, uh, Lalisa, which is a newer character. They don't have legendaries yet. I'm sure by the time we're done with the legendaries, we'll have a few more forbiddens as well. Not too sure what they're going to do after forbidden, maybe like ultimate or something like that. But these are pretty much like the new, better, quote unquote, uh, festival characters. So hopefully that guy's, uh, hopefully that guy's, the English is hard. Can't speak, apparently. Hopefully that helps you guys. For those of you who didn't know about forbidden characters or wanted a better reference of time, you have plenty of time to save for these characters. Don't worry too much about it. You know, nothing crazy has come out recently in Japan. Like, super crazy, like a collab or anything. And the last fest was Dust and Rin. So, you know, those are a big Dust fan. Who cares, right? <laughs> anyway... Hopefully they don't put the too many forbidden characters back to back because Aqua was not too long ago. She was, you know, two months ago. And that's not too much of time. I'm worried that they are going to get too many forbidden characters and they're going to just be like, yeah, forbidden, legendary, forbidden, legendary, forbidden. 
legendary forbidden kind of thing so i'm a bit worried about that but that, that's pretty much all i have to say about these characters let me know in the comments if who you're excited for if you're excited for forbidden megami forbidden veneer forbidden cosmo whoever it may be and you know i don't know guess their elements Wiz is earth aqua is light so obviously they're not going to play it by the normal rules of you know their whatever their og type was is what they're going to get dust was kind of weird and he was wind we don't talk about him that sucks anyway that's pretty much it like i said don't forget to like subscribe for more new content and i'll catch y'all in the next kind of super video